This is the front Dana 60 axle on my 1982 GMC 3500. Um, in the last video I did, I showed you how to take the hubs off and the discs. Um, so now we've got the spindle here and the axle shaft in the middle. Uh, we need to take out these six bolts around here. Um, that'll allow us to, to pull the spindle off. Um, there are, there's a bearing inside here and some seals, um, so I'm going to access those and replace them. Here I've got all of them off, all the nuts off, uh, except this one. It's a three-quarter inch socket is what you need, and there are some washers behind here. Uh, they're not, not super tight, not, not too hard to get off. Um, after that, you should be able to take this ring and dust shield off. Mine are not in very good shape. A little bit rusty. On that point, the spindle and the caliper mount should be able to come off. Um, you might have to do some tapping with a hammer. starting to separate, you can see here. And there it is. Spindle attached to the bracket. Stuff's a C, but there are the spindle is a separate piece from this bracket. Here's the spindle off the truck, still attached to the uh, caliper mount. Um, I think this probably has been on the truck for a long time, so it's not coming off easily. But uh, you just tap on this point right here and here, and eventually it starts working its way down. It'll come apart. I do want to mention that you need to be real careful about the, the threads on the spindle. You don't want to pound and mess up those threads because you won't be able to get your spindle nuts back on when you put it back together. Um, you can see in here the bearing that the, that the axle shaft rides on. Uh, that's what I'm going to replace. Here's the axle shaft after we pull the spindle off. You can see there's uh, some seals in here still. Um, Take a little screwdriver and pry this first little seal off. It slides right off. Um, take note of how they're oriented. The hollow side goes to the to the inside of the truck. From there, you got this larger seal on the outside. It kind of pries off like this. This uh, the thin lip goes to the outside. And then there's a metal, and in this case it's a metal um, ring in here that can be a little bit difficult to get off. Kind of pry it out. Oh, shoot. It's slippery. And it has uh, kind of a relief cut on the back side, goes towards the inside of the truck. And that's that's that. You can see that this ring right here is actually attached to the to the outer axle shaft. All of these uh, three seals came in a kit um, that includes the. Uh, spindle bearing. So it's a four piece set with the bearing and the, and the three parts of the seal. From here if you want to go further in your disassembly you can pull out the axle shaft. Uh, 
might not be a bad idea since you're already this far in. You can inspect your uh, your U joints. This is what it looks like when you get the axle shaft out. Uh, from this point, you're pretty far disassembled, so if you want to do the kingpins, um, it would be a good, uh, good time to do it. There's a bearing and seal in the bottom here, and the bottom kingpin. Um, of course, in the top, you've got the kingpin and then a spring and, and spacer and cap. Um, so if you think you need to do it, now might be a good time. But um, that's basically what it looks like. Thanks for watching and let me know if you got any questions.